Most soldiers from the 222nd Field Artillery live bunched together. Privacy is at a premium. 13 men live in this area, but each man has his own space. It's my bed. I have to jump up here every night, so it cuts down on space. I don't have to build the ladder. I get off shift. I just throw my stuff kind of right there. Um, this is where I keep all my, all my clothes for the next day, and I keep a little bit of food down there. The space is shelled regularly by insurgents with mortars and rockets. There's a bunch of windows in here. It's dark right now because you know, we have to sandbag it up. We can't have mortars or rockets coming through there. Most soldiers from Utah live in accommodation blocks similar to these. They're well protected from mortar and rocket attacks, as well as the buildings themselves offering additional protection with their thick walls. The soldiers work whatever hours are necessary, between eight hours and 18 hours a day. Come on. Come on. But they get time off to use a well-equipped gym or easy phone and internet access. We come here every day. It's the, really the only thing to do and stuff because, uh, well, we got we got a weight room. We got, or we can just go sit and watch a movie in our room. But I'd rather be more active than most of us here. This is the rainy season, and the base at Ramadi is filled with mud. Soldiers say while the physical conditions are annoying, the thing they care about the most is missing their families. It's tough for the family part. I know my wife doesn't like it, and. You know, I don't like being away from her, but there's something you got to do and get it over with and then get home. And In Ramadi, Iraq, Doug Brindle for Eyewitness News.